Good afternoon, everyone. How are we all doing today? Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? Hey, chat. What's going on? What's going on? Yo, 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 yo. Is everyone ready for this? Everyone ready for episode four of the survival series? Hey, hey. <laughs> Fantastic. That's nice to hear, guys. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and get let's get this thing started. Ba ba ba. Okay, so we are back here in survival series, guys. Uh, last time I think we exited. We were having some issues with the stream itself, so I think we stopped the game here at the oil rig itself. Um, so, if I'm correct, our boat is just below us, so we should be able to go and jump in it. Uh, your ship is a tugboat. No, it's not. It's not a tugboat. It's a little, little starter boat. Uh, so all we'll do is we'll jump into our ship. It should be, yeah, it is down there. Uh, we'll jump down into that and see if we can get that going. And then, oh, why wow, have I got no propellers on that? That might be an issue. Uh, let's go. This thing looks all messed up. And we have no battery. Fantastic. So that that that's an issue. Um, yeah, that's 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 an issue. So we might just have to swim back to our island. Yeah, let's do it. Let's swim. We are going to swim back to island. We have no battery. Um, I'm going to try and keep with the chat today, guys. Uh, I still ha don't have my second monitor, so it's a little bit. I knew quite awkward to do it, but I'm going to try and keep up with you guys as best as possible. Uh, when will I make part five of the ship build? Uh, sometime next week. Uh, not too sure when, but uh, sharks. Yeah, we have to watch out for sharks, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get there without getting eaten by sharks. Um, yeah, sometime next week for the part five of the ship build. Don't worry about that. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we're nearly at 2,000, guys. Uh, it's gone really quickly. But uh, thanks for everyone for the subs. Ooh. Um, I'm hoping we don't get any shocks. But uh, yeah, we should be able to make it over to our island, which is just... Oh, I'm so Great. I'm swimming to the wrong island. That is... F uh, okay, I'm going to go to the other island first. Uh, got to go an hour. Okay, cool. Uh, do you like paragliding? Not too sure. Uh, paragliding like in real life or in the game itself? <laughs> we can do this. Yes, we can. We can. We can. Um, guten tag. Guten tag. Guten tag. We shall. Let's, uh, let's actually swim in the right direction this time, guys. Uh, and then we'll go over to our base and try and spawn a boat and it actually has some battery in it. Seems as ours doesn't have any battery in. But uh, we'll see about that. Ba, ba, ba. I think I missed a sub there. Uh, X Gamer, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, what about channel trailer? What about it? What about it? Uh, ship was broken because they fixed batteries and propellers. Ah, okay. That makes more sense then. Thank you for that. <laughs> Am I swimming because it's lost in ages? Uh, maybe, but yeah, our batteries, our batteries and propellers are broken on the boat that we had. So we have to go back to base and grab a new one. 
uh, if we have enough money. I uh, can I build a submarine? Uh, I already have Ducky. Check out my check out my videos. We did a we did a series on it. We did a series on it. Wouldn't it be cool to make a montage of all my builds? Yeah, it would be pretty cool. I got, I don't even know how many builds I have in the in the workshop, uh, but it's quite a few there. Uh, is this music from new updates in the game, or is the Steam overlay? Uh, the music is from YouTube. It's from YouTube Auto Library. It's just pretty uh, calm ambient music, which I find works really well for the survival series, and I like it. Uh, I think you guys like it. I don't know. Let me know if the music's terrible or not. But I'll change it if it is. But I enjoy it. It's quite peaceful and quite calm. Uh, guys, let me know how the volume is in terms of music, mic, game. Oh, actually, I actually need to turn some game volume and so on and so forth. Uh, if it's if I need to adjust anything, let me know. Once again, I can't hear my own voice, so it might be too loud. Um, I'm fast traveling because I don't know. I can't. You see, in rogue mode, you can't. You can fast travel actually. You actually can. But uh, that kills the whole point of, of work being in rogue mode. So I'd rather just swim, to be honest. Um, Queen and ACDC. Queen is a good one. Queen is a very good one. Uh, can you make an airplane autopilot? Yeah, well, it's a little bit advanced uh, logic, but I can't do it. Uh, you should put Pink Floyd. You are cold. Pink Floyd. Yeah, I'm cold. And we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're nearly at the island. Um, why is there a sunflower symbol? It's because we're cold. Turn your flashlight, I can't see. Uh, flashlight is on, it's just because we're in the ocean you can't see it. I do have the flashlight enabled. Uh, what, is the, mu is the music too loud, guys? Let me know if it's too loud and I'll, I'll turn the music down. Just just give me a shout and tell me. Um, are we going to get ice in the future um, and build icebreakers? I would love to build icebreakers, but... I don't know. Um, I think it'll be quite interesting to have, but we'll, we'll. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mucus is fine. Okay, great, cool, thanks. It's a bit loud. Um, okay, there we go. Music. I dropped. Wow, there's a shock. Okay, uh, we need to get on the land, guys. Uh, uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 go away, go away, go away, shark. Um, okay, let's, let's get back, back to land. Um, guys, I'll catch up with the subs in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh, I'm going the completely wrong way on this island. Um, okay, lol, shark almost got me. Um, Okie dokie. So we're back at base. Hopefully we can spawn another boat. Um, there we go. Home sweet home. Maybe we should sleep. Get rid of this weather. I think that's a good idea. Uh, no guests today? No, no, no. I'm actually finding the survival series um, quite nice by ourselves. So we obviously so we can spend as much time as we want building. We can spend as much time as we want doing anything really. Uh, whereas if you're playing together it's not the greatest because then you only one person builds and the other person has to kind of just sit around and wait and with the amount of building that i've seen in the last couple of episodes um i find it better to find it better to um do it solo at the moment until until we obviously have a complete stable ship and then maybe we can bring in another person again um so we'll see we'll see make a submarine no 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 uh, build a huge airplane. Uh, we're playing survival series, guys. So we can only build what we what we have. We only have a certain amount of money and a certain amount of things that we can build. Um, see if we can just load in our boats. I don't think we have enough money. No, we don't. Great. So we might have to delete a couple of things on here. Um, that's an issue, guys. We don't have enough money. I wonder how much the winches cost. Winches cost 50. Mm. Chairs cost 50. Um, how much do fuel tanks cost? Not much. Batteries? Oh, batteries. Batteries are quite expensive. Uh, let's get rid of these batteries. I think two large ones will be more than enough for now. There we go. Now we have money. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. There we go. 
Let's just double check everything is actually working since the last update. Um, battery's not working. Okay, so I think we need to place down new batteries then. As uh, someone was saying, since the update broke them, or fixed them, theoretically. Let's go place down two new batteries. It's going to enable the X-Plane. There we go. Uh, notifications. Notifications. Uh, Stuck Randall, thank you very much for the sub. Below zero, thank you too. Much appreciated. Okay. Uh, it seems to connect up the electricity to everything. And then we should be able to go ahead and crack on with our missions. You need a look up to mission, uh, look up to the mission. Yeah, we might need to. Um, do you know Jesse G? No, I don't. Uh, they're just not connected. Um, do you have ever played Scrap Mechanic? No, I haven't. Um, I haven't played Scrap Mechanic before. Um, it has it has been discussed um, that I might I might try out Scrap Mechanic, but uh, at the moment I have so much to do in Stormworks that I haven't just got round to it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely thinking of checking out Scrap Mechanic very soon, though. It's great screen. Give a thumbs up in chat if you want to see Scrap Mechanic, guys. Uh, will you do a complete review of my Albatross one day uh, when I finish it? Yeah, I might. Uh, I might. At the moment, we just at the moment we're running with the top five top five workshop subs on Mondays. Uh, Friday's updates and then Sunday's are streams uh, so I'm still filling out the rest of the week so we might add an another series uh, along in there but we'll, we'll see add emergency battery for the starter that actually could be a very good idea um, let's add how about we add a one more actually no hold on. let's delete this battery like so connect the generators to that battery also actually no don't connect the generators because they'll connect to that and then we'll just get a simple breaker switch in our cockpit area i think hmm, where should we put one do we are these any of these empty yeah, this one's empty. Okay, so we'll put a breaker here and we'll connect the battery to it and then connect that up to our engine. So we have a emergency... Emergency backup battery, backup battery. Cool, done. Uh, then we connect that to that. And then that, I think we should connect that to... I think if we just connect it to that, then it connects to everything. So it'll be quite easy. Okay, that's all done. All ready to go. Uh, anything else, guys, that I need to add on while we're here? Let me know in the comments below, please. Oh, not below, just in the chat. <laughs> Let me know below. Oh, sorry, in the chat, or what I need to get done. Um, so many engines, yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, make sure to drive at least one boat before release. Huh? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Any upcoming Stormworks videos? Yeah, uh, we still do got the boat series. Uh, tomorrow we'll get the workshop top five. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few. There's quite a few in the works. There's a couple, a couple of secret ones that I'm, I'm working on, but. Um, but you guys will find out very soon enough. Scrap mechanic is downgrade from this. Eh, I don't know. We need. I think. I think we need a little bit of variety in chat. Um, if you're variety game in at the moment, to be honest, um, you guys have been asking for different games. So. So yeah, Alex Sherwood, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, one build a battery raft. Why? Why would I need a battery raft? 
Uh, yeah, so I don't know if we did, if we actually, did we unlock the scuba gear in the last episode? No, we didn't. We're still waiting. Hold on. Oh, we did unlock the scuba gear. Haha. Uh -huh. We are going to put some scuba gear in our boat right now. And we are going to go and go to some treasure wrecks and get some nice money from that. Thank you, Maroons, for that. Ba, ba, ba. I want to make an autopilot system, but I don't find any tutorials. Uh, I got a game in El Derp. I got a tutorial on an autopilot system if you want to go watch it. Uh, brick rigs. Yeah, I could check out brick rigs. Uh, scrap mechanics. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Um, can you make a tutorial to how you to use a parachute? Ba. Parachutes are quite easy. Just equip them, jump out of the jump out, and then hold down F. You should then it should deploy pretty easy. Uh, make a rib on a divot. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing that at some stage. Uh, do you gonna commodity gaming and frantic Nick? Uh, yeah, I do. So frantic was in the first episode of this series. Uh, I've done quite a few videos with him. Uh, Komodo, I haven't worked with him at, yet, uh, but maybe I don't know. Not sure. Uh, you have four scubas now? No, I don't. I have two. Two scubas! Two there. I don't remember putting any other scubas anywhere else. Two scubas. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick bit of painting just over here. Cool, that's all done. Okay, that was all done, ready to go. Sweet, we can save that. Spawn that in, and then let's see what missions we have currently. Uh, C4 generator fire. I can't use that in a helicopter. Transfer fishermen, I can do that. And seismic sensor, I can't do because I need a helicopter for it. So, where do we need to go? We need to go and pick up the fisherman there. Okay, fair enough. Let's check to see if this works. That seems to be working. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and get to our location. Um. Uh, vehicle parachutes, you mean? Do a a vehicle parachute? Yeah, we um, what a tutorial on how to use a vehicle parachute. We could always check it out in one of the videos. Um, could be, yeah, could possibly do it. It's not that hard. It's just literally a vehicle parachutes. It as I had an update video on Fridays. It has a I think that's a crate just to our right. Um, it has a. A toggle button to deploy it and undeploy it, but the thing is, it will only deploy if it's going, if it's going more than twenty, and it will un it will retract if it goes le less than five. Okay, one of our engines just blew up, so there might be an issue with cooling. Okay, so we have an issue with cooling, so we're gonna have to go back to harbor and fix that issue out. Okay, let's grab this crate. Free money, free money. Um. Fluid heatsink. Oh, that actually, yeah, I think I might switch out to fluid heatsink. Um, he wants to work with you, you said. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, play with beautiful OB. Yeah, maybe, someday. Uh, what is that black smoke demon? Yeah, it is. Uh, and the fires are still burning. Uh, so we'll wait until those go out. Until we move on. Um... We'll see if these engines are real eco-friendly. No, they're not at all. Um, not at all. We shall see. Why are we still on fire? These should be out by now. Uh, okay, we might have just to risk it and... Okay, let's go back to base and figure out the issue we have with the engines. If I can get back to base. Fuel's fine, RPS is fine, temperature's skyrocketing battery apparently is dead 
Oh, we didn't reconnect it, that's why. Okay. Okay, so we need to reconnect the battery. That's one good thing. Um, what else is going on? I don't know what, why are these on fire? Temperature's good. Okay, what we might do actually guys is this, this system, we might just actually bring it into the ocean to get fresh water into, into our engines. But we shouldn't be getting this hot. Let's just kill this bee quickly. Um, Too much RPS. And RPS is not that high. RPS should be that high. Let's try and figure this out. I think what I'm thinking, guys, is do we have a pump? We don't have a pump on the system, first off. So I think what we need to do is sort this out by adding a pump on. I think we. So, what is the system that comes out, first of all? So, we've got coolant out. So, that's coming out of the engine. So, that's fine. So, we can actually... Go straight into the ocean. And then this one is going to then pull fresh coolant or fresh water, I would say, in. So, let's grab our fluid ports. Go. And why can I not put a fluid port here? Please explain to me, game. Maybe I'm too far down. Let's try and go up a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. And then we'll just corner this out. And then join that into there. That should fix our cooling issue. And then I'm just going to throw a pump onto there. And then if we've done it right, it's built it on the other side. Yes, it has. Cool. Throw some electric onto all of this. We needed to connect our batteries. So that was, no, that was speed. Hold on. Hold on a minute. We don't want our battery to go to our speed battery to go battery and then we wanted one dial for backup battery so we know how much of battery we have in there that would be interesting to know okay, that's that's and then we need a button to turn on our coolant pumps So we do one is coolant pumps, coolant pumps, fantastic. Okay, I think we should be good. We said we had the issue with the coolant. Cooling is parallel on series. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Could be, could be Pluto. That could be the issue. Uh, yeah, because in theory it takes hot water. It's taking hot coolant out. Hmm. I think it's just, we're very compact on space here, guys. Um, oh, no, let's see how this works. If this works, then it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, could always, always throw the RPS up on these engines. So let's spawn this in. See how it works. We still have the issue. Okay, so cooling seems to be good. We're staying about twenty four, twenty five, which is good. Everything 
see our temperature seems to be going up a little bit. Overall, it's okay. I think what we can do is let's try and maybe get some more juice out of these engines. Throw it up to 100 RPS and see what happens. See what happens. Okay, that exploded almost instantly. Uh, <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Do you think we should rework the whole cooling system or do you think we should just carry on? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in chat, guys. Yeah, hyperspace drive engine, yeah. We increased the RPS of the engine, so let's see. Rework, rework, rework. Okay, we'll rework it then. So, what do you guys think? Uh, direct, direct port straight into into the seawater. What do you guys think on that? Each one goes directly back into the sea, or should we build a a custom tank which doesn't doesn't uh, measure temperature? What you guys what you guys think we should do? Let me know. Let me know. Heating some of the boats. Um, use the cooling glitch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, is custom tanks? Oops, custom tanks that don't measure don't measure things. We could, that's what I was thinking. Um, Legend play Kamado said your name in his video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was mentioning it because uh, of the updates that, we, that I had uh, done the other day on Friday, I think it was. Um, I always need to delete these blocks. Go. Okay. Uh, I hate working in these tight spaces. Done, done, cool. And then this was the last one I need to get rid of. Uh, let's go fix the color of our hull. So what was the decision? Um, custom tank, custom tank, direct. Uh, Um, the newest version, so I shouldn't need that many engines. Yeah, w we can always take some engines out, but we'll we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. Custom tank. Okay, so I see a lot of votes here for custom tank. Um, okay, let's let's yeah, let's go ahead and build custom tanks. I'm thinking should we do the back here, guys? I think maybe up here. Have a custom tank going along here. Two ports on either side. Two ports on either side. We'll close all this up now. We don't need it. And then we need to figure out. So the water's going to come from there, go into there, and then go out. And then what do you guys think? Do you think we think we should do it up in um, in parallel? How should we do it? Individually each do this or should we just link it all up at the end of the day? Um, what do you guys think? It should make a helicopter for Komodo gaming and do several episodes with him. Yeah, could do. Could do, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to think of this cooling system, guys. We still only have the one type of engines, don't we? Yeah. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and build this in any case. So we have fluids one is great. So this needs to be water. Oh no, water please. Thank you. And then we need our fluid ports. Done and done. And then what I'm thinking is we're gonna have to get it to come down and then underneath the oops, underneath the boat itself. So if we run, let's see where we need our holes to be underneath here. There, 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 there. Okay, so that's our holes that we need. So I'm thinking we delete that. We delete that. And then we run our lines underneath here and then eventually join them over there. I think that's a good, uh, good bet. So let's paint all that up. Grab. So this is coolant art. So let's leave that red then. So we know this is coolant art. Coolant art, coolant art. Coolant out again. And then we'll change to blue for the coolant in. So we know that's cold coolant coming in. And then let's switch to grab our angled pipes. And then we'll do hot facing that way and then cold facing the opposites. Okay, done and done. I'll catch up with the chat straight away, guys. Uh, Bram, thank you very much for the sub. Explorer PDD, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Okay, so now that we've got that cooling done, this piece will need to go like that. Same with that piece. Okay, and then T pieces over here, 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 and here. Okay, and then I think corner piece, corner piece there, and we'll go with another corner piece there. Fill this in, and then we can just run our straight blocks through that, all the way to there, and then same goes there. And then we're just going to fill in all these, all these gaps at the end of the day. Uh, Game Derp, thank you very much for the sub. Alex Plays, thank you for the sub, man. Jonan, thank you for the sub. Okay, let's go ahead and paint all this up. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so we've got all that done. I think we need to, obviously we're going to need to add some pumps here but then we can oops okay well, that's an issue first of all is that's going into places we can't access it so that needs to turn there this will need to come out hmm. there maybe yeah okay so we'll grab our wide piece again lucky box thank you very much for the sub much appreciated do that and do we have anything there? No. Cool. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Close all that. Close that up. And paint all that. And now we just need to remember. Um... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah. Is that all right? 
Yeah, okay, so that was cool. That was hot. Why is there two pieces here? Don't need that. So this was hot, if I'm correct, going that way. Yes, it was. Can I? No, I can't. We need to bring it out one more. And then bring it up. Cool. That was hot. That was cool. That can come straight across to here. Okay, so we've got hot and cool done. Uh, we need to now just connect it to our actual custom tank. So this is the hot water going in. So you should be able to do that. Cold water going out, back into the engines. me right now okay let's try now cool okay so that's done we just need to add our electricity we've got the water that's going to spawn in here it's going to get sucked down into our different engines all automatically cooled individually which is pretty good um eddie what's going on uh we are just fixing our boats for the survival series we are fixing our boat Uh, dear Runix man, um, you should do a collab with uh, Komodo Inspire. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we might do one, uh, to be honest, one day. Um, might do one at the end of the day. Okay, so let's go on. We finished that up. Uh, let's go and get the electricity connected to everything here. So we need, obviously, power to our pumps. Okay, that's done. Power to the pumps are done. Data, obviously we need to turn our pumps on. We'll still use our one key, which we said was be our pumps. Fantastic. And I think we should be good to go now, guys. We'll double check everything works. Let's test this out. Oh, we've got 47 minutes left on this mission, so then we might be good. Seems to be stabilizing at around 95. We're not going much faster than what we were going before. Temperature's going, oh, temperature's blowing up. Yeah, then we need to limit our RPS again. Otherwise we'll get fires like this. Seems like that bug has been nerfed. Hmm. could do
What if we placed... Hmm. Too many engines? Yeah. Could possibly be the problem. Uh, seawater? Yeah. We might go ahead and try seawater, see if that's, if that's going to fix it. Um... So, pretty much all we have to do instead is bring it down here. That's what I might do. Is go into here, delete that, delete that, delete that. Actually, delete all of this, to be honest. And then what we'll do is literally just bring it straight down here and here. That's right, yeah. And we'll just literally just bring two fluid ports there. And that's gonna be to suck our cold water in and blow the hot water out and see if that works. That might hope for, well, I'm hoping that's going to work. Otherwise we're back to the drawing board with all our issues. Let's go ahead and fix the piping up here quickly. Okay. Let's test that out and see if that works now. Otherwise, we're going to have to decrease this RP RPS. So it seems like the temperature is going way too high. increasing still okay let's go back to base and I think we're just gonna have to decrease the RPS to be honest okie dokies I'm gonna see the oops whoops um, angle power plus seawater best cooling up the pumps more pumps maybe pumps on full throttle uh, we don't have large pumps at the moment. We could just add more pumps, but I don't think it's going to actually work out too well for us. Um, I was trying to think of like another fix that we could possibly do to get everything to work quickly. I think, you know what guys, I think what we do is we drop all the engines down back to maybe like 30 RPS and then we just play it out for now until we get large pumps and then we'll have to maybe do another larger glue system. I might change that but we'll just see how we get on with with 30 RPS to start with. We should be able to maintain that. Let's see what cooling. Should be able to get away with it. Okay, spawn in. Start setting it up. Uh, that's much better. That's full throttle, guys. That's much better. We don't go slowly either. But I think, yeah, let's go do this mission. Okay, there must be an issue with the, with seawater cooling. Has to be an issue. One port per engine? Okay. 
Yeah, okay, let's try that out then. We'll do a direct a direct cooling instead of... So let's get rid of all this then. All, all this stuff. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Get rid of all this jazz here. Okay, and then... You guys say, okay, directly food ports into the ocean. Just like that. Let's see if that works. Okay, close that off. Don't need that. that off okay hopefully that's gonna be better uh gee, yeah just pop straight down yeah so we're gonna try that uh see if that works hopefully it should if it does we can then go ahead and increase our rps of the engines themselves uh but in the meantime we don't need this to be on anymore so it's enough okay let's go and check that out like temperature seems much better still quite high or well, not high but Okay, well then let's flip back around guys and see if we can get a little more power out of out of it. Increase the RPS and see what happens. Learn from movie waves. Um, yeah, well to fix the waves we could just add the stabilization to it. Um, Mega Treasure, hey what's going on man? Welcome to my stream. Can we, do we have fin rudders? We do. Okay, fin rudders engaged. You are going smack bang over there, I think. Yeah. Positive facing up. And if we wanted to get fancy, we could actually put two in the front. Cool, that's all done. And then, do you have any keypads or anything? I have levers, okay. Levers are not ideally what I wanted, but I think we can get away with using a lever. Okay. That is gonna go and control. And that's and that, and that, that. And just jumps the sensitivity 20%, minimum value minus one. And this will be stable. stabilizers. Electricity is needs to be connected. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. We have connected all of that, did we? Can't even see anymore. I'm going blind. Okay, that should be cool. Mm, ba -ba 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 -ba. Stab. <laughs> yeah, stabilizers. Okay, uh, we also said we wanted to increase the RPS. Let's go 100 RPS, guys. Let's see. Let's see what what the direct cooling will do. If that's go if it's going to handle it or not. See if that works or not. Should do. Should that that should work in theory. Uh, your set battery isn't connected. It is connected. Look, it's connected to our breaker because this is our emergency our emergency one. So that's connected to our breaker, and then our breaker goes back to back to our main battery. So if we run out of power on our main battery, we can just switch that 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 there, and then we all of a sudden have power again. 
it is definitely connected. And I even have a button or output there to tell us how much we have left. Uh, thank God for cooling. <laughs> uh, I can't hear the music. It's not meant to be that loud. Um, you learn so much from my channel. Thank you very much, Mega Patricia. I really appreciate it. Uh, Ethan, hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? Um, how do you move along that in the creation screen? What, like this? WSAD. Uh, while the line is hard to see. Yeah, it is pretty hard. Um, ba -ba -ba, we'll see, we'll see. So we'll go ahead and test this out very soon. Okay, let's go test this out. See if we can get it to work. It's already dark and the mission's... Oh, we still got time on the mission. Um... go and let's increase our throttle and lights lights are on fantastic decrease stabilizers there we go we're getting pretty decent speed I don't know how what speed we're getting but pretty decent speed we don't, need we don't even light inside. Okay, that's one thing we need to add, I think. Uh, temperature's good. Fantastic. Okay. We're cracking on. Cool. Uh, you might need two ports per an engine 100. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Uh, it seems to be pretty good. Um, Dad was to move around the creation speed, but only in free camera mode. Yes, indeed, Aaron. Correct. Um... Uh, yeah, in orbit mode, yeah, you have to um, right-click and then press F to focus on things. Uh, thanks for... Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Eddie, don't, 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 don't piss off uh, Knife, but it's quite, it's quite temperamental at the end of the day. Please make an autopilot in your boat. Yeah, we will. Uh, when we get the logic, when we unlock the, the logic for it, we will. Um, as soon as we unlock the logic for, for the boat... At the moment, we're quite limited on, on what parts we have and, and things we have, so we just have to be careful with that. Um, we might need to focus that the opposite way. Our temperature low. Temperature's good still. We're nearly there. Fantastic. Can you do a jet engine tutorial? Uh, we've done a we've done a live stream of a jet engine. Um, we've done a live we've done a live um, a live stream of it. If you want to go check it out, we might add it to one of our boats. But as soon as we unlock it, um, but at the moment we don't we don't have it unlocked in the survival series. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, we're coming up to this island. We need to switch around to that side. Boat seems to be doing pretty well at the moment. background okay where are these fishermen what are you doing where are you okay, let's kill 
of the engine. Uh, you're on land, okay. I'll go get you. Okay, uh, how's our battery? Battery's full, good. We can don't need to worry about turning the lights off, I think. We can leave the lights on. Worst case scenario, we have the emergency battery, so we're good. Um, how long are you going to be live for? Um, about I'm usually, I usually live stream for about three hours, so should, we should still have quite a lot. Uh, someone just give me a time update, please, uh, in the chat, if you don't mind. And let me know how long, how long we've been going on for in the chats. Okay, so we've got our first passenger. Um... And we need to move them there. Let's while we're here, we'll go ahead and check out. You want me to sleep? Okay, we'll sleep now. We'll sleep. Let's just let's just uh, do a quick hunting session and see if we can find any crates here that are worth any value, and then we'll we'll have a little nap. Uh, make it daytime so you guys can see what's going what's going on. Actually, while I'm here, there's a bed right here. You know what? There we go. Nearly daytime outside. We'll go ahead and just double check all these. Doesn't seem to be any loot boxes. Why? I want money. Money and parts, that's what I want. Uh, is there anything back here? No. Maybe something down this end of the island itself. Uh, one hour, four minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Much appreciated. Anything in here? Uh, it's a church. I don't know what that is. Uh, but no, there is no loot crates here. A graveyard. No, okay, so there's no loot crates. There might be some up on the mountains and things, but um, I'm not going to do it because we need to get this mission done. Um, how to build uh, forwards and backwards gear. Pretty easy. Um, just put your gearbox uh, down in between your engine and your propeller. And then once you have it down, you just change the settings in the gearbox itself uh, to one setting will obviously be forward and your second setting will be one to negative one so like you can see now if we start our engines up so i'm just going to go ahead and do that quickly so we'll start the engines you can see our engines are started if i go ahead and hit gear which now changes the gearbox to reverse we should be able to reverse out of here like so Turn around and then we can switch gears. And go forward. Very easy, very simple. Okay, let's go drop these people off and get some money. Or pe person off, sorry. Uh, we don't need our searchlights anymore. Turn those off. Head down there. I also think, guys, we should go ahead and grab our boats that we've left around everywhere. Like, I know there's one boat over there. We can go drag that and get some money for it. So, that might be my next thing to go do. Uh, oh, yeah, shipwrecks. We'll do this. Okay, we'll, 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 oops. we'll go check some so, uh, shipwrecks out after, probably on the way back. Um, can you pick country roads? Yeah, I'll have a look at it. I haven't, I haven't looked at it before, but I'll, I'll have a look at it. Um... Go check it out. Okay. Weather's well, good. Everything seems to be going pretty good at the moment, guys. Cross my fingers, but everything seems good. Obviously, whenever I say that, something bad happens, but we're good at the moment. Might need to fix the stabilizers. I think the front one we need inverted compared to the back one. Yes, we do definitely need that. Temperature's good, everything's good. Um, 
I like to place buttons in Stormax, I don't know why. <laughs> uh Ever David with a rib. Uh yeah, if we get a bigger if we get a bigger a bigger boat, we will definitely do it. Um are you gonna tow that boat? Yeah, we'll go pick up the other boats and tow them back to back to port so we can get money back for them. Because at the moment while they still spawned out, we've lost that money for it, so we'll get a lot of money back. Um So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I think you should try to make a boat with uh, small living compartments. I love the boats. Um, we're still on the material. Uh, yeah, we will. Uh, at the moment, this boat's very, very basic. Uh, negative, hey, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Billy, did you miss much? Not really. We've just been fixing our boat. Uh, I think we're on our first mission, guys? Yeah, first mission. Um... Is that an aircraft engine? No, it's the small baby engines. Lots of them. Lots of small baby engines. Uh, add a door to the engine room. Yeah, we could. We could do. Um, we don't have any. We don't have any doors at the moment. Uh, we haven't unlocked them yet. That's why I didn't put one on the cab. So we still need to unlock it. Uh, how to change window angle? What do you mean? Like rotate it? Just use the JKL key. Uh, oh, oh, don't uh, negative. Don't don't upset. Um, <laughs> I put. Uh, hello from Greece. Hey, bold. What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we are here, and we can. Drop off this person. Come here. How do I get up on here? There's no ladder. You don't have a ladder on your boat. And somehow I'm glitched. And I just took a whole bunch of damage and I'm still glitched. Why? Why? Ah! Okay, well, not glitched anymore, but I just took a whole bunch of damage for no reason. Um, lovely. Okay, let's go back into our boat. I think these boats are actually quite similar, to be honest. Their boat looks nicer. Their bridge looks nicer than my boat. My boat looks ugly in comparison. Um, maybe we'll fix our bridge to look like this. I like, I like how that looks. It looks more like a boat in comparison to my boat. It looks like crap so we might actually change our boat to look like this uh ba -ba 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 -ba. hello from germany yes 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 hello 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 okay uh let's go back uh back to base do we have any shipwrecks near us no we don't okay we need to go back there And we need to fix this, these stabilization rudders or fins underneath, underneath us. They're terrible at the moment. Okay, it goes so fast. Yeah, that's because we have tons of engines in here. Um, do we have a bunch? No, we only have uh, one or two gearboxes, I think. I think it's one or two gearboxes in there. It's not. It's not a lot. Not a lot at all. Uh, I think they're also on one to one. I don't even think they're on one to three. Uh, Tall old boats. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go grab our old boat uh, on the way back to base. Um, you don't know what the fastest boat is. Um, I'm not too sure. I know there's quite a few speed boats uh, and like jet-powered boats that are quite fast. I think. If I'm correct, I think it's like 140 knots might be the fastest. I could be wrong, uh, but that's just the last time I remember playing with someone's boat. So we went to about that speed. Um, when, you build, when will part 4 of the shipbuilding series come out? Part 4 has come out already. It came out yesterday. Uh, part 5 will come out sometime next week. Um, do you have enough fuel to make it back? Yeah, we have 300. Oh, great. Yep, 
Yeah, we should have enough enough fuel uh, to get back. One crates, or two crates. Uh, fluid valve on off, uh, boring, and seven thousand cash. Seven thousand cash is good. Um, yeah, without jets, uh, I'm not too sure. I think so many things have changed in the last couple of updates. I'm not too sure of it, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead. Get this back, and let's go back to base. Uh, what's our fuel and everything looking like? Temperature's good. Feels at 280. We'll, we'll be more than enough. Uh, I think you'll run up. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Who remembers? Who remembers uh, episode two, where we ran? I think it was battery or fuel. We ran up right at our dock. I don't know if anyone was watching that. Who's here today? But that was epic. Always make sure to look out for crates, guys. Free money. I can't have this in the ship builder. Uh, you might be in orbit mode. Uh, you can just go to your right hand screen and then toggle between orbit mode and free look mode. You want to be in free look mode. Uh, let's go grab our other boats. Yeah, we ran out of fuel. I thought, uh, ran out of fuel like at the dock. It was absolutely amazing. Against all odds, I don't know how we managed to do it, but it was really good. This boat is cruising along very steadily. Okay, let's go grab our boats it's over there. So we need to reverse in, I think. To reverse gear. And it killed my engines. We have fuel. Battery's fine. Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. That should be close enough, I think. Okay off let's go out out on we'll just have one on for now um i can't actually turn these on because we don't have any battery power on this ah we did put scuba gear in, the, in this boat and we put lights in here okay i guess i didn't save this boat Let's jump out here and we'll have to try and figure a way of how to maybe wrap around this, wrap this around the, the hull or something. Let's put that there and then we'll wrap it around with the other one. Don't need that. Don't need that. Put the mag on. Grab that. I'll catch up with the last notification now, guys. See if we can wrap this round. Okay. And now we should be... Oh, I hope we can tow it. Uh, let's see. We might be able to. We might not. Okay. Jump there. Let's get this engine started. Ah, too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Slowly. Slowly tow back to base. I think we need to come in from the right. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's working quite well. Seems to have like glitched in the window somehow, but hey, at the end of the day, it's working. Uh, I'm quite worried that it's gonna sink though. Oh, well, we'll take a risk and we'll go with it. Uh, building that you can be both. Yeah, we could do that. Um, do you know someone who? Hard to hard to load old boats. You happen to open right. Um, got to go now. Okay, bye, Peter. Have a good one, man. Um, how to load boats overwritten? No, if you haven't saved it in the mission editor, then there's no way to get it back once you've deleted it. Otherwise, you can always go check in your recycling bin, 
uh, just in case you deleted it, it might be in your recycling bin, but uh, I highly doubt it. Um, can I get a shout out for my birthday? Yeah, sure, why not? Everyone give a shout out. Everyone give a, a big thumbs up to your congratulations uh, up to Brian for happy birthday. Is it going to increase the fuel consumption? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's still got the same amount of, of engines doing the same amount of work in theory. We're just going slower if I'm correct. Um, Okay, let's just do a quick turn around if I can. Turn, 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 turn. Need some lights on. Okay. Oh, that that boat is yeah, that boat's done. <laughs> it's capsized. We're literally just dragging it through the water now, guys. That's fine. We get our money back for it. That's all we want. We just want our money back. There actually might be another boat. Uh, there's the left that I might have left behind, but. get this guy back I think that's close enough let's spawn this guy back delete him go grab the other boats spawn him back cool delete him and then let's see we should got a whole bunch of money for that not that much but better than nothing I guess Oh, uh, did I not save? Ah, I didn't save the boat, guys. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. We're going to have to just quickly redo what we did earlier. I didn't save it. My bad. Remind me, please, guys, to save my things from now on. Shouldn't take us too long, though. Okay, that's done. That's... That's... Go underneath here, and... Don't need that anymore. Hold on, why is my X plane? Should be working. Okay, let's get this all fixed, guys. Okay. Can I not just run? There we go. Okay.
fantastic we got that in uh notifications let me catch up quickly um the lucky buck thank you very much for the sub man much appreciated gabriel thank you uh western thank you very much for the sub and space brain thank you very much for the sub okay so we need our fluid ports now get those on and we need to actually just move this up a bit cool and then let's get our fluid ports and then that takes care of our cooling and that's all fixed we need to increase our rps of our engines up close that off paint all this done 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 we needed to get some new batteries two batteries was more than enough great increase the rps of the engines oh these are increased great that's all sorted that's all sorted we need a battery backup because that would delete it our boat that had it battery That there, that goes to there. Electricity goes there and then to there. This goes to everything. chat what's going on in chat i haven't heard i haven't uh, you guys are quite quiet or well, no you're actually not you're going quite your uh last boat is saved automatically yes it is however um because i loaded in the boat that we towed back it didn't save it automatically um ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I think that's the same. Uh, what kind of streaming system do I use? Um, software I use is uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, system I just use, I use the same computer that I play with. Uh, I do it on the same computer and it all works fine for me. Uh, hold on, control. Uh, we're not quite yet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so I think that's everything connected. Yeah, battery, battery there. Oh, one light I've missed. And then let's just double check. We've got everything connected. Seems like everything's connected. How are these controlled, by the way? Held down for throttle. Oh, okay, yes, we sorted that last time. Cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to go here and click save. So I don't forget. And we lose everything we have. We've got our diving suits on the back. Fuel, we said, might, might run out at some stage, but I think we're fine at the moment. Speed sensor, we have hooked up. Cool. What other components did we unlock, by the way, guys? I can't remember what we unlocked recently that we could add to our build. We have a speed sensor, fluid meter, altimeter. Altimeter, hold on. Could connect the altimeters over here. Remember what we did in, if you guys watch my hydrofoil tutorial, we could connect the hydro, the um, altimeters up here so that these go ahead and automatically control our stabilizers. So it always keeps us in the water. Um, actually, we might want to go and put it like altimeter over there, maybe. And another one there. Because that's, that's kind of, in theory, the place where we want the water level to be. So connect that, connect that, double check on electricity. No, that's all cool. Uh, that's all done. What GPU do I have? I have a 980.
Did you put uh, put it in the backup battery? Breaker? Yeah, I did. Connect it all here. Oh, well. So that goes into there. Then the output goes into the main battery. So we can go ahead and charge all the engines up. Uh, but guys, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce that right. But hey, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so we got all that sort of out. We could also do the same for the rear. So if we go grab some stabilizers. Oh, sorry, some fin rudders, <laughs> should I rather say. Uh, we can go ahead and put one on either side. So we'll go maybe here. Positive facing up, as always. Double check the positive, yeah, that's cool. And then we'll go with a altimeter over there. Let's make it white like the rest of the boats. Where is the altimeter? There. I want the water line. Yeah, we want because we want all the we want this to always be under the water. So just connect that directly over to our fin rotation, rotation. Make sure this has got power. Yeah, make sure this has got power. Cool, and that's all done. We have all that done. Great. Maybe we could elevate this up one. Close that in and then we can go ahead and maybe just paint our ceiling inside here. Can we get rid of this? Yeah, we can. Good. Ba, ba, ba. What's going on? White Noise has subscribed to the channel. Everyone, welcome White Noise, please, to the live stream. Uh, Spray for Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, thanks for the sub. Weston, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, let's go ahead and paint all of this. Plain full, plain full, plain full. Too dark. What do you guys think? Too dark? Trying to go for like wood effect. I think it's a little bit too dark. But we'll see. I always change it. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. I think we're good to go. I think we're actually not. I just. Close that off like that. Go in there and take that. Okay, dokies, we've got all that sorted. All closed off, nice and neat. Uh, got our goo scoop gear here. Uh, someone was saying to me, I think we got the colors wrong here. It's meant to be red, I think, on the left and then green on the right. So, green. Someone was mentioning mentioning it to me the other day that I, we had the colors wrong. So I was going to change that. Cool, all done. Uh, okay, what's going on with the chat? Chat, chat, chat. Chat. Operation White Noise. <laughs> Lol. Lol, okay. Uh. Mm. Let's go. Spawn us in and do some missions, guys. Uh, it's got another sub. Gaming Dep 5. Thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Okay, I think we might need to go ahead and sleep, guys. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just test this boat to make sure it works since our last endeavor. Temperature. Probably turn the lights on to help. There we go. Temperature's good, feels good, uh, speed is pretty half decent. Okay, let's stop right there, turn our engines off, and let's have a nap. I'll leave the lights on, why not? We have our emergency ba battery if we need to. Uh, let's have some Z's. Wake up. Do we have any missions to do? 
Uh, it starts to make sense that we can't do it at the moment. So I think we need to go back to sleep until we get a mission. Come on. Okay, stranded tourists. That's easy enough to do, I think. Let's see. Turn the lights off, get these engines on. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Uh, where are these stranded tourists? They are over there. Seven Ks away. Okay, not bad. We'll get there. No worries. I think we'll have enough fuel to get there and back. Boat should be staying nice and level now. Fantastic. Save. Uh, okay, I'll save. I'll save. We'll finish this. We'll finish this. This. Uh, okay, I'll go back and save. Stop the ringing in the chat. <laughs> Thank you guys for for reminding me. <laughs> but chat's going insane with save. Okay, I'll save. I'll save. Crash the boat? No, man. This is our boat. I want to crash it. Oh, yeah. I see him enabled. When did you sneak in here, man? Uh, I'll go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and, and save it now. Save. There we go. All done. Save, guys. No more reing in chat. Let's go do this mission. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, cool. We'll head that way for now. Uh... Once I finished the roof, everyone was saying it. Okay, my bad. My bad. Well, we saved it now, at the end of the day, so that's all good. Okay, we're heading off that way. You're on a vacation in Colorado and you're watching you're watching my stream. Well, there we go. That's, that's a le that's a legend right there, guys. On vacation and watching. Please say something with a British accent. No, I'm not. Although I'm in, I am in Britain, but I'm I, I'm not British, so I can't pull up a British accent. The other day. Um. No. <laughs> Colorado swag. Eddie, you you just. Nightbot, Nightbot hates you, Eddie. He really does. He really hates you, man. What are you gonna feel? Feels still good. Temperature's good. I think it's good. We can actually just leave the boat now and walk around if we wanted to. Check out the sights. Left. Nothing. Empty ocean. Empty ocean for miles. Look at our emergency breaker. Battery's still good. Everything seems to be pretty good. What do you guys think about the brown inside inside there? I think at some stage we will add doors, but I think the brown looks pretty hot, pretty decent. We need to delete that. We don't need that anymore.
I am indeed South African. I am. Why not now both delete these messages? Uh Knifebot will delete anything for spamming capitals, uh, spamming symbols, pretty much everything that's bad, it will automatically time you out, don't sh it won't show you a message or something. Uh, you South African? Yeah, I am. Originally, I'm South African, yes. I'm originally South African, yes. Uh, using a double screw propeller style. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? We just have... No, what, what noise? No, your, your nickname is fine. Your school teacher stuff is cool. Very nice. Wait. Oh yeah, Taurus are here. Okay. Very nice. I don't, I don't think I knew that. Why aren't there any storms or waves? Uh, it all spawn. Everything spawns automatically. I can't, I can't change the weather all the time of day. So the weather is up to the game. We're just sleeping through the night. So I think the night time is when mostly the weather is quite bad. Um, <laughs> you actually paid Wi-Fi to watch my stream on the plane. Legend. Legend. Uh, let's go up here and park the boat. Go. That's a good parking, I think. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Happy with that. Okay, let's go up and get these people. Wait, how many? One, two, three. Oh, there's quite a few of them. Hello, people. Follow me. Uh, okay, while you follow me, let's go look for treasure. <laughs> treasure around here uh, there might be something there or on top of that there actually might be something downstairs also possibility of that let's go upstairs quickly anything up here nope okay we're going back down people um back down uh we said we wanted to check oh you're not following me anymore let's go check down here quickly oh there we go no that was not <laughs> that was not treasure. Um, <laughs> talk out was Indiana Jones. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, we said there might be something up here. Um, okay. Doesn't look like there is anything here. We'll just check the basement of that of the fort. I don't think there's anything going to be anything down there. Ooh, people. Don't take damage, please. We need to all be alive. Oh, okay, you just decided to stop there. Okay, cool. You're following me. Great. Let's go down there. Down there. Up in that. What are those? Those are just normal crates. Any treasure down here? No. Great. Okay, follow me, please, sir. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's crack on. Let's go down. Uh, one in the basement. Nah, there's nothing down there, man. Um, outside the cells, couldn't find one. Couldn't find one. It's fine. We'll be back here at some stage. For now, let's go and get these people to. I think the airport, I think, is the, this mission. I think we take them to the airport, to be honest. Okay, you sit there. You sit there. You sit there. You sit there. 
and use it there. Cool. Let's get our boats going. And where do we need to go? Down there, which is, whoa, 15 k's away. That might be an issue for our fuel. We'll see when we get there. An island there when you can buy. Nah. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go check that shipwreck out in the dock. And see if we can find anything. Uh, can you put hydrofills in your boat? Uh, yeah, we will at some stage, but um, we don't have the parts for it just yet. In future, what vehicles you plan to make for rogue mode career? Uh, I really want to make a helicopter, but once again, we need the parts for it at the moment. I don't think we have the parts. Um, we need to find the parts for it. I don't think we have a gyro unlocked yet. Uh, I think we're still missing rotor blades things like that someone give me a time update on the stream please um we'll stay with this we might build make it bigger but i want to I want to have a helicopter because there's so many missions require require a helicopter for lifting things and moving things around. Uh, hence the reason why I want a helicopter. As I said, we have to unlock the parts first. So we'll see what comes first. Two hours. Thank you very much, Captain. Thank you, thank you, Ambu. Okay, are we just about at the shipwreck? Ooh. And we can throw our diving gear on. Go. and we'll go see if I'm correct this is the wooden ship it's not mine it's the wooden one you guys are just gonna have to chill here until I come back okay let's go down um, shipwreck should be down there I've got my searchlight on guys by the way so I'm sorry if we can't see anything Why am I taking damage? Why am I taking damage? Okay, well, we got the shipwreck, but for some reason I'm taking damage. My scuba gear is meant to be, or oh, I'm about to die. Uh oh. Up, 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 up. Maybe the water's. I don't have oxygen, maybe? Why am I taking so much damage? Shock? Can't be a shock. O2. We had enough O2. Pressure. Depth. You think that's why we were losing that much health? Okay. Mm, the waves are starting to kick up now. Uh, it's, it's... You think we're going to be able to make it down there? Let's try again. Otherwise we'll have to come back to the surface. Yeah, it's a pressure. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to go back up. Yeah. But it I uh yeah. Okay, uh, what is the X thing on the maps? Uh, it's um, special locations or places of interest. Okay, let's go deliver these people. Stabilization rudder should be working now. Quite nicely to keep us perfectly level in the water. So we should, in theory, just glide over these waves. In theory. Even if they do start to pick up a bit. Um, 
Eddie, spanning emotes. Nightbot is not gonna allow it, man. You need diving, diving gear. I had diving gear on. I had diving gear on. That's the thing. I don't know what what we were doing wrong. We had the diving gear on. We should be. We should have been absolutely perfect. Temperature seems to be climbing, but. Ah, but no, hold on. Oh, oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. Ah, uh, scuba gear. Okay. So then we need any diving gear. Ah, okay. Okay, these waves. Oh. This is going to be a fun, fun ride. Let's lower the throttle a little bit. Okay. What am I going to do part five of the ship build? I uh, will be doing it sometime next week. Tomorrow will be, tomorrow is going to be the top five workshop creations. Um, I don't know when next week, uh, Captain Fellaway. I'm not too sure yet. Whenever, whenever I can, I will. I assure you. All these waves, man. Maybe we should go into the waves. That will help us. Okay, no. We need to go. Cross like that should be fine. Let's just double check out the temperature and everything. Temp's fine. Throttle up a bit. Um, Morgan, hey, what's going on, man? Uh, you haven't missed too much. Are you going to showcase my boon top five? If it's in, in white noise, if it's in the top five, uh, I will showcase it. I will showcase it. Uh, by the way, happy early Veterans Day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, can't affect win in career mode. No, we can't. We can't change any of the settings for career mode. No, monitor's not fixed. Uh, still just using one monitor at the moment, but we'll get there. We'll get it. We'll get it all sorted. We'll get it all sorted. Um, yes, if you can show MK2 instead of MK1, MK1 is crap. Uh, yeah, sure. Use less engines. Why? If we go slower, won't we? We use the tensions we've got started. Gearboxes are still quite broken as far as I, as far as I remember. Port Taurus are going to throw up? Yeah, they are, man. They are definitely going to be throwing up soon. Port Taurus. Um, keep an eye out for Bach. Loot boxes, as always. Boat seems to be handling quite decently. What do you guys think about the boat? I think it's working quite well. Uh, waves are still down. Yeah, they're still down because we got close to the island. Um, Yeah, you see, we've gotten further away from the island, the waves all of a sudden hugely increased. Um, uh, 
uh, that angle, I think. Uh, where are we going? We are going to the tour headquarters to go drop these tourists off. That they were stranded on the fort. Um, why does Nalpot hate Sandra? I'm not too sure. Uh, what's your fuel? 200. We've got 5k's to go. Um, what I'm going to probably do is lower our throttle right down. While we have these waves, low the throttle what right down. We should have enough fuel to get there, I think. Um, what shortcut do you use for race mode? X, X, press X on the keyboard. Uh, do you have filters on your air takes to the engines? I don't. I do not. So, possibly they could get water inside them, yes. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Just a minute, hey, okay, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, can you do a custom fuel tank video? Yeah, we could We could just do a custom fuel tank in this build. Um, I think I have done a custom fuel tank in a couple builds, to be honest. Um, one question, if I connect one engine to several propellers, will the engine effectiveness be lowered? Yes. Well, the effectiveness won't, but you, your engine will only be able to output so much so much force so say for example the small engines are produce 20,000 force if you only if you have one propeller if one propeller produces 20,000 force so you're kind of capping your limits you can put as many propellers as you want but if you only have one engine it will only go at a maximum of 20,000 force obviously then you get into your gearbox and your torque and power ratios and that's when it changes quite a bit but uh, as far as, as I'm correct 20,000 force on engine equals 20,000 force coming out of your propeller. Um, went to restaurant, you're back now. Hey, welcome back, welcome back. Um, yeah, we can hit them he head on. Um, feels good. I think either way, whatever we do, we're going to capsize. I think we, what we need to just try and achieve now is just get closer to this island uh, so we get less waves. We're nearly there in any case. We just need to go over there and drop them off. We're also very close to home. Yeah, engine will be divided through all, all propellers. Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, what well, noise is correct in saying that is that your engines will get divided between your propellers. But if you have more propellers than engines, you're going to lower your output in theory. Uh, what were you diving for earlier when I joined? Uh, we were trying to go down to the shipwreck, but because we had didn't have diving gear, we only had scuba gear, we couldn't get down there. Um, engine might blow because the water gets in the exhaust. Yeah, um, possibly could. It could, yeah, or could kill it. Um, it could kill it because then it'll get water in it. Add propellers further down so they don't jump in the water. Yeah, we could do. We could do. Um, we could add them one or two blocks lower. Music has stopped. No, it hasn't. It's just probably just very soft at the moment. Feels good. I'm slightly concerned we're not going to get there. I don't need to start there. I couldn't theory park the boat here and then walk them there, but that would take so long. Um, v 
steel is 173. I'm worried it is going to run out, to be honest. The wave seems to be dying down. Not as much as we want them to die down, but they seem to be dying down. I think we'll get there with enough fuel, uh, to be honest, guys. We've come all the way from there. We were like there, we had 200, so... I think we'll be fine. I think what we can probably do is ramp up ramp up the speed of the engines. We'll conserve more fuel, but we'll get there quicker. I'll just try and... See if we can just hug the coastline here to get the least less amount of waves as possible. Just don't want to jump up. Oh, we're jumping out the water now. Still seems to be okay. Let's keep an eye on it. Get our lights going. Waves are getting bigger. Waves are getting much better. Uh Ninja, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I thought you were gonna miss the stream. No, you didn't. What? You didn't miss it. Uh, we are just doing a couple missions. We fixed our boats. Uh, we just delivering these people. Just get to shore and then walk them. Yeah, we could. Uh, I'd rather just walking is gonna take forever, man. We might get to like there and walk them, but we'll see. But these waves are just just seem to be getting bigger and bigger, even though we're like right next to shore. I said, I think we're fine on, we're fine on fuel. We're 128. We'll definitely get there. We should have more than enough to get back. What's that island? Uh, it's a power plant. Okay, maybe it's time then to find a nice place to anchor this boat. Cliffs on all the sides at the moment. Uh, we just came into an alcove, or cove, should I rather say. Let's turn the boat round. Nearly there, 400 meters. There we go, there's a dock right there. Speed up. Let's see if we can get there a little quicker. 38 minutes to spare. Nearly finished our fuel, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and drop them off there. Fantastic. <laughs> it looks like we built the boat from Jaws. No. Uh, make the keel for the pillars so they don't jump and place up place water pillars. Yeah. Uh, let's get all these people. You go there. 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 Okay, can you follow me out? Hello. Follow me. Hello. Cool. Are you all following? Because we're going for a swim. Come on. Hello, people. Can you... Do you want to come? Hello. Okay. You want to stay there? I'll go get your friends. Okay, 
killed by my own boats. You go there. <sighs> These waves. Oi. Maybe you want to come up here. Wait here, please. Wait here. Thank you. Next wave, please. There we go. Okay. Follow me, please, sir. No, I guess you don't want to follow me. Follow me. Thank you. Follow. Follow, follow, follow. That should be five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Okay, Taurus. Thank you very much. We have a parachute. Great. We don't have any flying up, flying things yet, so that doesn't help us. Uh, we have medium wheel, and I think it was. What was the last one? I didn't see, guys. Let me know what the last, the last block was. I think we've searched this island. No, maybe we haven't. Search silence, see if there's any any loot here. Might also have a net quick nap. Fluid spawner, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's go. Doesn't look like there's any loot in these buildings. Nothing. Okay. Uh, wait, there's a monastery or slash church down there. We'll go check that out and see if that happens. Uh, yeah, custom thanks for days now. Fluid spawner, yeah. Oh, uh, we had a fluid spawner before already. Already had that unlocked, so I don't know. Seems to have given us a, given it to us again. Uh, no, okay. Just steal the book if we want to, but doesn't seem to be any crates here. Okay, let's go back to our boat, uh, have an up, and then we'll see if we get any more missions. Our boat is getting killed by those waves. And our batteries just died. That's fine because we have an emergency battery. Let's just jump in there. Oops. Okay. Go ahead and jump there. Have a long nap. Wake up. Cool. No, it's raining. The waves seem to be much less. Okay, cool. Uh, deliver engineers to wind turbine. Okay, we can do that mission, but first we need to go back to base and get some more fuel. That is number one priority, I think, at the moment. Uh, lights can get turned off. Let's get some emergency battery. Cool. Turn that off. Starter. <laughs> No. Whoa. Okay. I guess I didn't have my clutch engaged. Ah! Uh. Yeah, that was a fail. Big fail. <laughs> Do we? Can we push it? Maybe. Come on, boat. Can I push you in the water? No, you've just you've just gone ahead and, and capsized yourself, haven't you? Lovely. That is fantastic. Hmm. See if we can't maybe get in it and try and ramp, ramp it up. Nope, this is doing absolutely nothing. And I'm busy killing myself because I don't have oxygen. La 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 la. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, great. Fantastic. Push, we did, we tried. Ah. Back at one of the bases. 
So our boat is currently stuck over there. I think we have enough money to... Hello? Uh, I think we'll have enough money to spawn another boat. Where do we need to go for this mission? Is there and there. Okay, great. Let's grab our boats. New career boats. Everything was working as far as I was aware of. What changes did we want to do, guys? We said maybe let's do custom custom fuel tanks. So we get a little more fuel out of this boat. I think that's going to be more than big enough, guys, for a custom tank. Uh, let's just go ahead and lower this to about there. And we might want to add a pump onto this, actually. Let's grab a pump. Fluid ports, and then there we can add a fluid spawner. That we want that to be diesel. Yo, yeah, that's cool. We need a button to turn on. Well, first off, we need to give power to our pump. Second, we need to turn it on. So we'll go with hotkey one, and to that is our fuel pump. Fuel pumps or pump one. Uh, do we have an indicator light? We do. Remember, I said we need to get rid of this, and in turn, what we can do is actually just put a indicator light. Say we have our fuel pumps on. So fuel pumps. Great. Paint that. And then we just need to fill out these blocks there. Cool. Done that, done that, done that. Uh, what else do we need for this? We might need, do we have a fluid indicator level? Fluid level? Yeah, fluid meter, perfect. Put that in there. That's gonna get fluid level, fuel capacity. Do we want, what do we want, liters? Yeah, let's get liters. Um, fuel in liters. Fantastic. Um, so he's live stream while working on my MH53 uh, with a beer. Good times. <laughs> nice one, Ninja. Nice one. Um, how to make two buttons to control one door. Uh, you would just pretty much take the, the output into the, into the other button. We'll go into the, art, the input and vice versa. And then you just have to take one of those and connect it to a door. So then when you, if you hit one, it will do the opposite on, or do the same thing on the other one. Um, Spooth in the water cannon area. Okay, we could do that. Uh, diesel engine running at 500 RPM, driving a prop uh, 200 RPM. Working just fine. Um, newest version, of course. Okay, we'll smoothen this area out quickly, guys. Okay, let me just re-enable that. What's happening down here? This whole area we could actually open up if we wanted to. Oh uh, yeah, and then we need to definitely make this look better. Looks like looks like crap now. So, I think like this, I'll delete that, of course. Maybe something like that. There we 
could even delete that. Oops, no. Delete that. Delete that. Close that in. Close that. Nope. Uh, back that off. Maybe just, actually no, I'll leave it where it is. I'll just close it off like that. And then I think we need that there, that there. And then when we do get doors, I guess we could actually put maybe put like a hatch, maybe a hatch or something in here. And then we could store things in there. I don't know, it's just an idea at the moment. Uh, just an idea at the moment. That's done. I'm not going to rework the bridge just yet. What other components do we have access to at the moment? Um, fire extinguisher system. Mm, we don't have, do we have nozzles? We do. We could do a fire thing, it's just a thing with Josie. Uh, handrails would really help if you get stuck. Some handrails. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Maybe just put a few of them scattered along the ship. Very good idea. I've got a few of them there. Cool, got some handrails down. Um, how do I do what? What do I do? The auto wedging. Oh, the auto wedging. Just uh, hold, take the inverse pyramids, put it down where you want, continue to hold left click, and then drag it to where you want, either in in whichever direction you want, and it will it will build it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, speaking of which, as you had some rails, yeah, cool. Lower the propellers, please. How much do you guys want me to lower them? One down there. Well, in theory, this, in theory, guys, this is this is where the water level is meant to be. In theory, what I might do actually is bring this up. Oops, bring it up to there. Grab uh, altitude sensors. Put those back there and then just wire them up again to that okay cool uh so we got that done what did we did the fuel system that's all piped up and ready to go i think we had it all connected yeah we changed the front around a bit water cannon controls are the same we need bigger we need a bigger pump for that water cannon so we can't do any fire missions just yet uh we do have fluid nozzles so we can do a fire suppression system Fire procession, uh, we would need quite a few, though, I guess. We could run piping along here. Yeah, cool. So, do delete that, grab a fluid port, throw a pump on there. Piping, go with red for now. Up, 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 across, across. Let's go to there for now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then what we'll do is we'll then take that. There's one. There. Oops. There's one. Uh, another one. There. Do we have, 
Do we have a threshold gate? If we have a threshold gate, we could get this automatically connected. Otherwise, we'd have to physically toggle it when we want the fire systems on. Like we could, uh, I guess we could actually like put valves in between each one of these um, and then have it have it literally shoot off as soon as it reads the fire level on each one of the systems. Uh, but there's at the moment, I think we have a, yeah, we don't, we just have an invert number and not here, yeah, so we can't do it. Let's grab our nozzles. There we are. And we'll just put these above each engine. And then we'll have to do a simple toggle key. Okay, that's all set up. That's all set up. We need to paint underneath. Done. And then let's go and go hotkey two. That's toggled. And that's just going to go simply down to our pumps. Both sides. Give that electricity. Done. Done. Apparently, we need the fluid nozzles need power. So I'll go ahead and give those power. Cool. What else do we need to add, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Um, explosion is 125. Yeah, we don't have a threshold gate at the moment. Um, don't have a threshold gate, so we'll have to figure that one out for now. More power would be pretty cool. You would have to add more engines. Um, and we only have with the one propeller at the moment. Hold on. We have a large rotor. We have a tail rotor. Do we have a gyro? We have a gyro. We have a seat. We could actually make a helicopter. We have all the parts for it. Who's who's up for a helicopter? Don't do it. Do it. Heli, make one. Make one. Do a heli. Me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So then let's leave this. We might not have enough money for it, but. You know what we're going to do is, hold on, do we have a, we have an island that can do a heli. We have the coast guard. Yeah, so we need to go there. So actually, hold on, we could take that, delete that, go back here. We should, we can fast travel to between bases, guys. That's one thing um, we can do, so. Fast travel back to. Okay, it's going to be quite a simple helicopter, guys, because I don't think we have too many. We have too many parts, but we'll see if we can get one. I don't know how much money if we have enough money also to do it. But once again, we'll we'll see how we get on. We should be able to build a simple basic helicopter to start with. Like a one, maybe we'll do maybe like a, a, a six seater um because then we don't have to worry about waves we don't have to worry about so many things guys so let's go with new build we have twenty eight thousand. so let's go off and just plan our cockpit area first things first We need two chairs. Where are they? Okay, go with that. Delete that, delete that. Uh, Matthew Davies, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Okay, so we got that. Next is. I guess we can put a dividing wall. Between this. Then take. Get some passenger seats. Okay. Let's get another 
dividing wall for our engine. Engines are gonna go there. Let's get Okay, we go there, 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 in front of the helicopter, back of the helicopter, might have to go a little bit more forward, but that should be fine for now, uh, detailing. So that's fine. I'm gonna just delete this quickly. Bring it to there, bring it to there. Fill all this in. Great. Actually, you know what? Gyro can go there. Utilize all the space we have. Catch up with the chat very soon, guys. Give me a couple minutes. Oh, that was loud. Ninja Donator 5, thank you very much, man. Pingu, pingu, thank you for the sub. Garrett Sampson, thank you for the sub, man. Much appreciated. To help fund the chopper. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Put floodies on the chopper. Okay, we could do that. Um, floaties? Do we have floaties? We do. Might have to. Just gonna build that for now just so we can place down on the floats. There we go. Delete all that, delete that, delete that. There we go. And we need to delete those. We need to bring them out more, I think. That's hold on. Yeah, those are, that's better. Delete all this. Don't need that. Go. yet possibly hmm not too sure how I'm gonna do the front section just yet but we'll leave it like that for now okay let's work on the rear section getting this all sorted out quickly I'll catch up with the chat in a couple minutes guys I haven't forgotten about you so focused That too big? No, I think it's fine. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, 
Uh, be cool if we put a magnet uh, at the bottom of the heading to hold the crate that has a parachute on it. So if you drop it from the heading, the crate drops like a diving suit. Uh, possibly. Um, cool but useless. Yeah, make a heli kick or float. Uh, yeah. I just feel the helicopter that's what we're doing right now. Um, put a rope on. Yeah, we'll put a rope on. Uh, ninja crazy money waste? No, man. It's not mm, waste money. Goes towards me, goes towards uh, my channel, improving the channel at the end of the day. Um, add some rope. Yeah, we're going to, we'll add some uh, winches and things on it. Are uh, you going to make it auto have it? Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, depends on how much logic we need and what we have. Um, but I don't, I will be able to do auto, we can do auto hover, we won't be able to do a auto hold system. So we won't be able to actually do our full, our full system that we want. Let's go ahead and add these. How many engines do you guys think we're going to need? I'm, I'm guessing two at least. What do you guys, what do you guys think? I think we'll need at least two engines. Coolant's in, and uh, this should be coolant's in, this looks fuel, that's fuel, perfect. Uh, depends on cooling jersey two engines yeah i think two i think two is going to be our our thing if we have to add more engines we'll have to do like an open open design uh am i going to do anything special for 2k uh i'm not too sure yet uh to be honest i honestly don't think i'm gonna always gonna get to 2k as quick as quick as we've gotten to as, as 1k but uh, you guys are just amazing so I'm, i might have to but yeah we'll see um add some extra forward propellers uh with clutch for speed uh yeah we could do i think i think we'll start with just a basic helicopter and get it working first and then we can obviously upgrade it as we move on um that's my kind of like thought process on it but as i said we'll, we'll see how we get on i'm just gonna go finish off the actual design of this helicopter before we finish the piping and things Oops, didn't want to do that. I think actually maybe now is a good time to turning it back like that. And then what we'll do is grab that, put that there.
figure something out with this. Delete that, delete that. And then I'm thinking is using slope blocks up there. Might just actually bring that. So we need to go up one then. Like that, like that. Perfect. And then we can close this off. Like that. Delete this. Delete that. Block there. Block. Close all that in. Take that. move this helicopter like so okay uh, buh, 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 how to wave in the game uh, use the emote key to wave Altair 4. No, it's not Altair 4. Uh, is it going to float in the water? It should. It should. It might be a little back heavy, but we'll we'll get to that just now. Uh, first, we'll finish building it up, and then we'll see what, what issues we have. Uh, and if we need to make any, any alterations or adjustments with it. And then we can do that to it. So, I just want to go ahead and finish up building the actual helicopter itself. Close all that off. Hopefully we'll have enough money to spawn this in. We should. What do you guys think? Too high, maybe? Maybe we need to go down one? Yeah. Let's go down like that. And then where we have... Go there. There. Close that all in. Like so. There we go. Starting to look like a helicopter now. A little bit fat, but it'll work. I'll do the job. Close that off. That up. Maybe like so. And we'll put our windows. See what window pieces we have access to. Get rid of that. Get rid of all that. Get rid of that. Uh, one up, maybe? Yeah.
what we're gonna have to do is use that. This is a very small helicopter, guys. Nothing fancy. Something like that. And then square blocks up here. Can't even use full square blocks. Mm, use narrow windows. Maybe a curved one. So go here. That's back into the cockpit. We'll spawn this in and see how it looks before we do anything else. Uh, might, as I said, change the design a little bit. I feel like it's too high. Maybe it's just too low. But I guess it is a water helicopter, so you do want that like lower section to it. Let's spawn that in and see how it looks. Oh, yeah, it's one of that, yeah. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Uh, at Gullwing Doors. We don't have the uh, pieces for it at the moment. Uh, cargo basket, I'm going to eat. Hope you're still here in half an hour. Uh, might be. Might be. Um, at a cargo basket, please. Heart is okay. Cool. I think that looks okay. Not that happy with the side pieces, though. I'm happy with those. Uh, let's delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, that. Get rid of that. That. I think that's gonna look better. These are that. Close that off. This will be the first ever helicopter in my Rogue series. Pretty stoked. Put that there. And that there. We'll use dials. That off. So close this off like that. That's looking good now. There we go. I might actually just bring that lower. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We might actually disable the explain. Go here. We need a speed dial. An altimeter sensor, actually. That does in there. We've got our floats. I don't know how well it's going to float, but we can always move those around when we get to it. Uh, we've got plenty of space here in the back. Uh, we obviously need to think about fuel. Pity we can't add fuel in those. Um, fuel. I guess what we could do is fill this whole compartment up with full with fuel. That could be one way of getting around around it. Um, we obviously need to build our back tail. Let's get our actual rotor blade on itself. Uh, there. 
It's quite a small road to play for such a big helicopter. That's gonna come down for our power, so we'll get that popped up quickly. Uh, let's grab our corner piece. Another corner piece. Straight. And then we set up power, it comes out of here. Fantastic. And then we can just do TPs right here. And then clutch. Uh, do you think we need a clutch, guys? Or a gearbox? What are you guys' thoughts? Clutch or gearbox with the helicopter? We could. We definitely could. Uh, I think we might need to, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, what do we have here that needs to get done quickly? So this is air can come from right there, I think. Can we put air here? Let me put a fuel, fuel port there. Fantastic, that's going to be our air then, that's taken care of. I might have to leave that. Okay, so that's our air done. Uh, what else do we need? Exhaust. Exhaust, I think we can just shoot out straight out the back. What is this? I think this was exhaust. That was coolant, this was exhaust. Exhaust is just gonna come. Oh, we need to move this actually. Is it exhaust on both sides? No, that was fuel. So fuel is in here. Fuel's coming from inside this tank. So we leave that there. This is exhaust, which is gonna come out the back. Let's go to there. Once you come to there, let's split you into two. Go back there. And then we'll have two exhausts coming out the rear of the helicopter. I think that'll be pretty cool. Uh, but, but, nah, clutch is enough. Add a cargo basket, please add a cargo basket. Yeah, we will, we will. will. Uh, what do you, the clutch and gearbox do? Um, gearbox, yes, clutch shouldn't be needed, but it won't hurt. Add a cargo basket. Yes, David, we will. We will, don't worry. Um, Gaming Deep, hey, welcome back, welcome back. So we got that done. The next is I might actually just change these to enclosed pieces. T piece. And then that's our exhaust done. And let's grab our go. We've got our exhaust coming out the back of the helicopter. Fuel is going to come in here, so let's do that fuel system quickly. Uh, so let's go with one fluid port. There. Up. Uh, this can come out. 
I think we should. This should hopefully provide us with enough fuel. Uh, it might make us quite heavy, but it should hopefully provide us with enough fuel. And then we just need our fluid spawner there, and we also need a fluid meter. Put maybe there. No. Uh, fluid spawner. Oh, fluid meter. Sorry. There. Cool. That's gonna measure that. What else we had? Power we need to do. We still need the coolant issue. What do you guys think? Radiators? Uh, how are you flying around the editor like that? Uh, I've just used the middle mouse pan around. Uh, WSAD, make sure you have it in um, free mode and then you can do that. Gullwing doors, we don't have the components to do, to do that just, sorry. We don't have pivots and things, so we don't have that unlocked. We can't do gullwing doors just yet. But we will do it, don't worry, at some stage we will. Um, kind of contemplating this back section, I think it should be a little bit more curved. It just feels too... Meh. See, we didn't have X player enabled. I think that looks better. That rear looks much better now. Front, I'm still... I like the front, but at the same time, I don't like the front. Nah. Meh. We'll see what happens to that. Okay, so we finished all that piping. What was the last couple of pipes that we need to do? Coolant, we said, was a thing. What should we do with coolant, guys? Should we add... Just heat sinks on, like, on, like the sides? Like that? Maybe use heat sinks on the sides of the helicopter. Uh, use wedge blocks uh, at the front of the floats. At the f at the f floats. To add more buoyancy, huh? Um, why isn't there super chat? I'm still waiting t for my channel to be reviewed. Once we do, then um, once we then will have that. Um, and yes, you can donate. Just click on the button, the uh, link in the description. All obviously donations, guys, go towards helping the channel out and improving the channel. Whether it be new microphones, hopefully getting <laughs> getting my second monitor fixed and all sort of that. Uh, heat sinks will work. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Heat sinks, cool. What are you guys think on the sides or underneath? I'm thinking on the sides, like right there. 
we could we could even put them in here in the compartment area of the of the helicopter you know what i'm thinking of that just like that uh why let me place it obviously because i don't have anything behind it actually hold on uh wait i might be able to place it What do you think about that, guys? Hiding it away, nice and discreet. Obviously, we still need to paint everything, but I think there's quite a good thing. Side sides, inside side sides, interior. Uh, heat sinks more efficient, but larger. Yeah. Okay. Cool, so let's get the cooling sorted. Mm, one side is cool, one side's hot, which means we need to bring them together. So I'm going to drop these ones like so, and then join them. And then this one is gonna come out of there down there down there and then into that one grab our angled piece another angled piece straight piece and there we go and then down here we are going for Corner piece, corner piece, straight pipe. Cool. And then underneath is straight pipe. So then, in theory, heart is coming out going in there, going to the top of that radiator, coming out of the radiator there, going into the next radiator, getting cooled again, and then coming back into the engine itself. Um, what I think we might need to add to the system is two small fluid containers. I know that was a thing at one stage where you have to add a fluid container to a radiator setup. So we'll just go ahead, grab that, grab two small tanks and place them on either side and then change them to water. Water, cool. So we got that done. Uh, we have diesel engines, diesel spawning in there currently. Okay, so that's all hooked up. Um, One to one, yeah, I'm gonna use a one to one for the gearbox and we'll see how we do it. Uh, nearly three hours of stream, yeah. Um, yeah, we're still going, we're still going. I think we'll get the helicopter flying first. I wanna go flying today. I think what we should build next is the rear section. So place that down like that uh, I think I'm gonna actually just bring it back a few blocks first there there Something like that. Doesn't look the prettiest, but it works at the end of the day. Uh, we can get rid of that. Put a small fin rudder. And then 
one on this side. Something like that, and then we just need to come on this side and put a tail rotor. So maybe there. Okay, it doesn't like to be there. It needs to be one block out. That's fine. Let's do one block out then. Like that. Maybe one down. Cool. Where is the? Okay, it's underneath. So we need to get a, actually let's just do that. Simple like that. And then what we'll do is go inside there. Do that. And we'll bring the system right through to there. So enclosed pipes. That's done. Let's go to here, put another one there. Another one there. Straight pipe. Cool. And then inside I'm going to use just normal pipes and that's because I think this whole area is probably going to get flooded with fuel. Uh, so let's go there. And then we said we needed to figure out how clutch gearbox combination scenario whatever's happening with all that stuff I'll go there 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 and then that's power for both our propellers and then that's the power power coming out is here and here there's that Join those two up, two. and then we'll shoot that into a clutch. And then we'll shoot that into, actually hold on, let's angle it down. That's clutch. And then angle it back up and then into a gearbox. It's fine, it's facing away. We'll start with facing away and see if we need to change it because I'm going to run at one to one ratio to start with. So go one to one, that's fine. Uh, and then last thing guys, we still have to add our batteries. Yeah. Any suggestions on where we're we going to put batteries, guys? Any suggestions? Maybe, maybe a couple of batteries in here, in the front. Maybe do we have a good? Should be able to fit two. Two large batteries, maybe one large battery, or medium-sized battery. Uh, okay, what's going on? Um. Uh, Okay. In the landing gear, uh, the floats are, 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 what's the name? Um, we can't build on the floats because they already built for us. Uh, I'm thinking in the front. If I can get my camera orientated right. Um, will you fit in there? There we go. So I'm thinking, yeah, we go with one large battery there, and then along with that, we'll put two small batteries. Now, the reason why we put two small batteries is we have, we'll have these will be our emergency power, our emergency power batteries. 
So if we ever do run out of electricity, we could always switch to those. Uh, we're just putting two just to equalize the weight between between everything in there. Now, as far as our dashboard or cockpit is concerned, let's see what we what we have to our disposal. Can we put these? So we can put that there, maybe that there. Do we have an artificial horizon? We do. Good. Artificial horizon, maybe there. Fantastic. We could eat that. Uh, we could get rid of those. We need, I think, a throttle for throttle for the amount of power we give the actual engines themselves. What else do we need? I think we need a whole bunch of dials. That's what we'll definitely need. So let's go grab our dials. One, two, three, four dials. I think that's fine. We'll have four dials. One will be fuel. Well, let's go with RPM. RPS, sorry. RPS, fuel. Battery. And temp. Cool. This will be th engine throttle. Cool, that's done. And then we're gonna to have to hook up a lot of these hotkeys to things. So, for example, we'll need, let's do starter, push button. Next will be fuel pumps, fuel pumps, or pump one, fuel pump starter, what else do we need? Oh, we also need another button for auto hover. Auto hover. What else do we need? We need another one for lights. Uh, search lights. Search. Search lights. get rid of the large battery and just do small batteries there that way we can have a searchlight in here yeah why not that there that there then we can grab a searchlight Lovely search light in there. Cool. And let's give it. Actually, what are we going to control it with? Well, I'm not too sure we're going to control it with yet. I think we might just make it facing like at an angle to start with, and then we'll change it as we move on in the game. So we're going to give it a number signal. Point 0.5 let's go with point 0.5 we also need a let's go with some circuit breakers so one for main power and one for emergency power i guess so battery emergency battery i wonder if you if you I wonder if you could, if you had an emergency battery or backup battery, if you got hit by lightning and you were on your primary electricity, if you were to then go and turn that off and then connect your backup battery or let's say like a brand new battery, I wonder if that would go ahead and then reinitiate it. I could be, could be something kind of quite, something quite interesting. Uh, Pilafar, hey, what's going on? Anita, hey, welcome to the stream. 
Uh, use the winch to hold cargo basket. Yeah, we will. We will. We will. We'll get to that. We still we're figuring out the the essentials at the moment of how to get everything working. Uh, can you add a cargo basket? We will. We will. Don't worry. Nice job, thanks, man. Uh, Jersey, why do I get from Discord? Um, you need roles, so just either message one of the mods or message myself, and I'll give you a mod. I'll give you a role as soon as you get there. Um, as soon as I get there. Gull wings. We can't do gull wings because we don't have we don't have the um, the pivots or the, for that. T T B gaming sub. Thank you very much, man. Okay, we need a couple of lights. I think we just need to, we'll add some like cabin lights on either side here, and then maybe one there. So let's grab these back there, and then just normal lights there. Cool, happy with that. Let's do some painting while we're here, guys. You know me and my custom brown color. Inside of the helicopter, let's go with the dark gray. On the outside, we'll keep it white for now, I think, guys. Cool, that's done. Let's just finish the painting inside here. Okay, dashboard. We also need to hook our speed sensor and altitude up. We'll do that now. Or oh, I'm just going to name it speed. Alt. Cool. Go back to painting. Uh, windows. Going to go with the black for the windows. Cool. Landing gear. Dark gray. Or the fray, the support at least for the for the floats, not the. What color do you th should we do the floats, guys? The floats themselves. By the way, we might be moving these floats, but uh, what color do you think we should do the floats? Chat, I'll be with you in a couple seconds. Just want to get this finished up, make it look half nice. Uh, and cool, we'll paint this because a little bit of detailing in there. Oops. There we go. Uh, chat, 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 chat. Uh, orange, orange, orange. Okay, cool. Uh, orange is clear. Winner. Okay, cool. We'll go with orange. Uh, red, because if somebody is drowning, they can see the heli and call for help. Uh, red and black, orange, orange, orange. Okay, we're going with orange. Orange for the floats. Uh, let's see if I can do plain fill. Oh. Smart if I had this enabled. Kill. Why is it not painting on the other side? It's only painting. My existence doesn't know. Yes, it is. Okay. 
that's done. We've got that. Cool. Uh, exhaust. Let's go dark gray for the exhaust. Uh, I think we just need to finish up. We just need to do the wiring now, and I think we should be good to go, guys. Um, I think I have everything connected correctly. If I don't, I guess we'll soon see. Uh, we obviously need to figure out the clutch is one thing where we would have to use... Because we don't have any logic that we can use. We would have to use a throttle lever to control the clutch. So I'll just put one. I guess I'm just going to put it in the ground here. Uh, and then right. So that's going to go and control our clutch. clutch. Cool. That's done. Okay. Time to start wiring everything and piping and all, wiring everything up at least. Okay. So first things first is let's connect all this up. Stabilized roll goes, once again, pretty much just goes to the roll, nice and easy. Uh, yaw goes to the yaw of the tail rotor. Pitch goes over there to that and to our fin rotor rotation. Might have to inverse that. Scroll uh, up and down goes to our collective throttle, which is somewhere here. We'll go to our engines. Let's see, temperature goes to one engine. Rotations per second will go to one engine. Uh, fuel will go to our fuel sensor. Liters, yes, that's correct. What else do we have? Battery needs to go connected to one of our batteries at the moment. Cool. What else? What else do we have? Uh, we have speed needs to go to our linear speed sensor. Altitude needs to go to our alt sensor. That goes to directional, so we know what speed we're going in and direction. What else do we need? Oh, we need to connect our controls here. So let's see. AD is going to be for roll. So let's go connect that to roll. WS is going to be for pitch. Left to right will be your. Up, down. That's perfect. And then we said, what was our hotkeys? I think our hotkeys were one was starter. Okay, so we can go grab one. Starter, starter. Two was fuel pumps. Yeah, cool. So we can go grab two fuel pump. Three was, what was three? Three was auto hover. I think four was our lights and yeah, and then five was our search lights. Yeah, cool. So four goes there, there, uh, there. Five goes there. Let's do lights. We'll also go with, and we'll light up our dials while we're there. And then that we're talking about dials. I want to do green paint for all those. Sweet. Got that done. Let's maybe, should we go with the green also to illuminate our cockpits? Nah, let's go like a dimmed white for now. Might change that. Okay, got that done. Actually, I might go with a black nose on this helicopter. Yeah, I think I like prefer that. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like the black nose or if you prefer it all white like it was before. Let me know in the chat. Okay, let's finish painting. Do a little bit of painting work, guys, and we'll be good to go. Okay, we got that done. Uh, what else do we need to get fired up? So we've got all our controls more or less done. Gearbox, we don't need to turn at all. Um, chat, is that a heater? Yes, it is. It is. Hello. Langen, hey, what's going on? Graham, what's going on? I don't think I've seen you in the chat. Earlier. Stormrunner Gaming, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. For all the don't know Stormrunner uh, Gaming, obviously another YouTuber, I uh, was on the second episode of the Survival Series. ba 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 Okay. <laughs> I 
change the light color to red. Yeah, we could do light. We could do red. Uh, Coast Guard colors would look nice. Yeah, we could do uh, add a blue stripe. Yeah, we could do uh, two dark rings on the tail. We still need to add we, uh, length of light. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, we still need to add the lights on the outside and we need to do our paint job. But I just want to get, I'm thinking of now just getting this helicopter actually working. Um, see if see if we have if this obviously if this rotor is big enough first of all to actually lift us second of all if we have enough engines these these are my concerns guys so I thought we'd just actually get that sorted before we go ahead and do any more detailing and things because we might be just wasting our time completely uh, but more or less I think I think we'll be fine to be honest uh, we also need to add our winches uh, on here so we can go and rescue people. So that that will be quite important. Um, my thoughts are to add winches on the sides here, so we can go and winch them up, and then also maybe do like a winch at the back, or even possibly one underneath. Uh, but once again, we'll we'll see. I think we'll go ahead and spawn this in now and see if we can get it working. I think the last thing we need to do is the electric on everything. So batteries, we have five batteries, one for emergencies, three. Going to battery A, which is our normal power, if I'm correct. Yeah. And that then goes to all our components. So, throttle, gauges. Engines, lights, gearbox, clutch, clutch fin rudders whatever oh we actually didn't we forgot to sorry guys we forgot to actually do this one which is going to be your your uh so let's connect that to your fantastic and then as i said we might need to invert these numbers but we'll we'll see just now when we test the helicopter out let's go back to the electricity i think we should have everything on what isn't down here uh light wasn't on electricity Cool. And then our backup power goes here, and then that goes directly to our old battery system, if that makes sense. Cool. I think we have everything done there. Um, well, I'm just here to watch and chat. Cool. 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 Uh, do you have vehicle parachutes? We don't. We have normal parachutes, which we actually will add. We have normal parachutes. Uh, we just have to find somewhere to put them because we don't really have much of space in this helicopter. So, hmm. possibly in the roof. But I don't know if we have enough space for to do that, but we have space for one parachute. Just one. I'm going to go with a dark green parachute. One space for that. Um, we could always add more on as we build the helicopter, I guess. But uh, for now, we'll leave it. We'll leave it with with that. Uh, what else? I think we can spawn this in, guys. Who's excited? Who's excited to to see to see if this actually works or not? I am. I'm pretty excited to see if it's just gonna if it's not even gonna take off, to be honest. Um, We'll soon see. Uh, Dylan, thank you very much for the sub, man. Alex Tripp, if I missed your sub, thank you very much. Uh, cool. Oh, guys. Let's go test this out, see if it works. Uh, miss paint on the pontoon. Where? Where did I miss the paint? No, no. Got all the paint spots, I think. Oh, there. Okay, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's save this, first of all. Uh, Rogue Heli. And uh, let's spawn it. Ooh, look at that. That actually looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? It looks a lot like my little bird, I have to admit. But this is like a C version. That light needs to get angled up more. Seven five. 
go. Uh, is this it's center mess in the middle? Cool. Let's start this up and see if it works. I'm just gonna drop the volume a little bit because I know it's gonna be loud. So first off is power. We also need auto hover on. Let's go with fuel pumps on. I'm gonna add some dials, I think, guys, here to know what. Yeah, let's add some dials quickly. Hold on. So, so we know what's going on because at the moment I'm pressing buttons and I don't know what what they're doing, if they're on or not on. So, add some indicator lights along here. go and then we'll go with fuel pumps auto hover search lights uh, starter oops what else did we have toggle buttons for search light lights lights I think we'll be able to know if they're on and off uh, auto hover fuel pumps cool we'll go with that for now give that all electricity one two three four five connect them up to four was the lights we said we knew when the lights were going to be on or not five search lights three was auto hover Two was pumps and one was our starter. Great. And then let's do some colors here quickly. So I think red for our starter, which is that one. I'll disable that first of all. Auto hover, let's go with maybe a purple for auto hover. Fuel pumps green what was the middle one search light white yeah let's go with that for now we can change them around if we want to um we'll change them around if to see how much buoyancy do the floats have uh compared to making your own floats uh i don't know i haven't really tested out to be honest um but as far as i'm aware that one mass for that whole piece in comparison if you're building your own each block is one piece so it's a little bit different um uh, cool let's crack let's go okay, that's all done we did all that uh let's save it again and spawn it and see how that looks Okay, so first off, uh, we said fuel pumps. Electricity might help first. Fuel pump on, cool. We do auto hover on, great. Searchlight in the front, nice. Turn that off. Engine throttle, let's get that up to like 30. We might see that clutch is fine, that's fine. Let's start the engines up. RPS is climbing up. How's our temperature? Temperature is good. Should we give more? Increase the throttle, clutch all the way full. Do we have enough power? Come on. Very sensitive, but we are lacking the power to pick this helicopter up. We don't have enough lift, guys. Throttle's at full. Temperature's good. Battery's good. Uh, we needed to put a thing on the battery, by the way. Clutch is good. That's good. Hmm. So we need more power. So the helicopter's too fat and heavy. I wonder if it's... Maybe we just get rid of the fuel. Maybe we don't need that much fuel.
Let's get rid of. Close that off. Otherwise, we might have to add another engine in. Oops. Is there anything I can think of? Do that. Just that. See if we by deleting that fuel area there, if that's going to help us at all. So fuel still quite high. Engine throttle up. Ah, fuel pumps need to be on and auto hover. Oh, we might need to increase the RPS of the actual engine itself. That might help too. And also increase the positive. That should be on neutral. Blades should be eight. This should be on neutral. Blades fine. Increase the RPS to 100. See if that might make a difference. Uh, change the RPS, RPS limits, uh, or another gearbox. RPS limit, yeah, RPS, yeah. We did it, we did it, we, we changed it, we changed it. Um, wrong seat. So let's go increase, oh, turn electricity on, increase throttle. RPS is shooting way up, so is the temperature, so it's throttled down. Before our engines decide to explode. Ah, oh, too late, they already have exploded. Okay. Uh, my takes have failed to launch. Yes, never mind. There we go. Wait, hold on. It went up and then it went down. There we go. Okay, controls are very... Ooh, and we just went straight down to the ground again. Okay, so we're nearly there. Um... We're nearly there guys it's like we're getting enough rps but then it see, seems like as we're going up it's just taking too much pressure and then it can't maintain it doesn't have enough power um okay so jason thank you very much for the sub much appreciated man uh so we need more power out of that i'm thinking of lowering the fuel capacity down because to be honest we don't need that much fuel so I'm trying to think how we could do that by not actually deleting any of these blocks. Mm, I guess we could just do enclosed pipes all the way through here. Hmm. across like that move that over there and then here we need a corner piece where else do we need to close that section off there there um so it's gonna be inside there 
So we need to close this off and that. Clutch should actually seal that off, which is fine. Um, we can close that off. That goes there. There. This we need a corner piece for. Okay, that's done. What else we need to fix? Uh, we need to fix a straight pipe here. See if that helps. That should reduce the weight enough. Otherwise, as I said, we might have to add another engine and delete like this gearbox area, and then they create another engine there. Uh, that might be our our answer, really. But I'm not too sure. We just have to test this out first of all. Or we could even try adding another gearbox. Uh, that could possibly fix everything for us. Okay, that's done. We just need to fix this last piece. That's a T piece. Quad piece. Okay. And then fuel cool. Electricity, everything's connected. Save that off and we'll go ahead and test it in. Uh use Vodka instead of fuel. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Uh, your answer is radiator, then you can run engine at 100% without heating. Radiators, radiators will not, um, will not run at 100% and run cool. Um, more, more radiators, less blades. We need blades, uh, you need to use the aircraft engine. Uh, yeah, we don't have an aircraft engine. We only have the small baby engine at the moment. Uh, block off. Just above the spawner, yeah, that's what we did. Uh, you could add another cooler. You run higher. Well, I think we were running it towards like 100%. Um, we're running it towards 100 Do you play with a keyboard and mouse? Uh, yeah, I play with keyboard and mouse. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try and spawn this in again. Well, let's just test this out and see what, what results we get with it. So, electricity, um, fuel pump, auto hover, throttle. Let's try our throttle 30%. Start the engines. Get the RPS up. Engage clutch. Engage the engines to full throttle. Engage the clutch to full. Temperature. There we go. Temperature's going way up though. Okay, temperature's dropping. That's good. But so are we. That's fine. Just wait for the temp to drop. We might have to... Still dropping, so we can increase it. Yeah, it looks like... 93-ish, 94-ish. 95-ish, our limit. Uh, just add another cooler. Could do that. Um... Limit the RPS and go full throttle, but then we get less power. That's the problem. But hey, look at the moment. We're fully active. Oh, but then we drop, we drop. We lose RPS. See, we've lost RPS. As soon as we engage, as soon as we're climbing up, we've lost our RPS. Um, so what if we were to try one, two, three, see if that might help. We'll go, I'll go ahead and limit, limit this to 70 RPS, see what happens there. Okay, gauge that, two, three, throttle. RPS is much higher. 
So it's the temperature there. Oh yeah, we can't lift, we can't even lift now. What if we were to swap the gearbox round, maybe? Oops. I'd run that way, and then at a one to three ratio, see what happens with that. That might have to do anything. Uh, maybe less rotors. No, rot more rotors, more mean power. Uh, the heat sick G even left. <laughs> uh, let's go. Two, three. So engines at full throttle. Temperatures climbing. We climbing. You can probably lower the throttle. Hey, look at that. There we go. Nice stable helicopter. Should we test it out to see if we can go in the water? What do you guys think? Try the water? We seem to be maintaining... Everything seems to be fine. We'll get this on, this on. Fuel... Fuel's gonna last forever. Um, just let's try and... Land it in the water and see what happens. So yeah, we'll need we'll definitely need some more floats, guys, to, in order to, for this to to actually work. Definitely going to need some more. I might actually also just go ahead and just change the sensitivity on this because it's like super sensitive. Um, so more floats. Let's go, let's enable x plane quickly. On the double float system, and then change the sensitivity of everything. It says 10% sensitivity, that's impossible. It can't be a 10% sensitivity, it's like so, it's so sensitive. Oh well, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, sorry, I gotta go for a bit. Okay, cool man, cheers. Um, Pay at gaming to fifty dollars, huh? What's that, James? Uh, okay, so let's see if we get any float better flotation now that we've added four of those. So two, three, four, five. Enable that throttle for start the engines. Enable clutch. Cool. Wow, why is it so sensitive? Gonna go and kill the engine. See what happens. If we sink or swim. Well, the rear seems to be much heavier than the front. And we are tipping over. Yeah, we are. Okay. So yeah, our flotation system doesn't seem to actually be providing any lift at the moment. Um, hmm. Super back heavy, yeah, it is. It is because obviously all our weight, all our weight from our engines are over here. They're in the center, you know, literally over here. So 
what I'm going to do is, I think what we could do is maybe just strip, bring it back down to these two, and then um, and then just have it like this, and then we're not going to actually have it as a as an actual sea going or sea landing helicopter. It will just be a normal helicopter that we'll have to fly on land and land on land, for example. Uh, but yeah, I think that's guys. You know, I, I think that's a really good place to end today's stream at. Um, you know, I've had a lot of fun with this, but I think I think we're we're approaching the the limit of of how long the stream can go on for. To be honest, guys. Um, yeah, we could put it like a leg at the back with a with another another flotation device on it. Um, ah, okay. I didn't know that. Ah. Well, thank you. That's why I was so sensitive because I had, yeah, I had the controller enabled. Thank you for that one. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, guys, we're gonna we're gonna be ending it there. I think. Um, you know, thank you everyone for for watching. It's I think I think today we, this is the highest consistent demand of people we've had in the stream ever. So thank you all of you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just getting fun yeah i'm sorry guys um i'm sorry we're gonna end it there it's late it's 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 i've been going for nearly four hours now guys um i'm going for nearly four hours but listen next week friday set your clocks sorry next week sun next week sunday set your clocks we will be back for another episode on survival series and we'll continue this helicopter and we'll make it the best it can be i might do a pop-up pop-up stream guys by the way during the week so make sure you have your notification enabled for my stream i might do something special but i'm not too sure about that yet but everyone make sure you have your clock set next week sunday 3 p.m We'll be back. We'll be doing survival series. Okay. If you guys want to go ahead and donate a little something towards me, towards the channel, help to improve it, make sure you hit that button down below. Click the link. Donate a little something to me. Otherwise, join my Patreon. Obviously, that helps me out a bit. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, as always, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!